needed to see me about a green card? Yes, your work permit. I uh, forgot to ask you for it before you started. Luckily, personnel reminded me. You need it right away? Yes, for uh, IRS and Social Security. Once they have your number, you'll be sailing smoothly. No problems. Well, I'm afraid there is a problem. I don't have a green card. You must have. You can't work in the United States without one. Well, I didn't know. I'd never had a job before. Well, you'd better apply for one immediately. As I understand it, it takes a bit of time to process. Well, uh, do you think I can work here in the meantime? Well, I'm not sure. The Immigration Department is kind of stuffy about work permits for aliens. I'd better check with them right away. Do you think the personnel office here could help me? Well, I doubt it. This doesn't fall within normal limits. Uh, you see, we're facing a time factor here. Say, maybe now that Robert is the police commissioner, he might be able to pull a few strings. Sounds like getting a green card is a number one priority. That it is, Holly. You can't work here or any place else without a work permit. Well, thanks, Dan. Costumes never die. They just seem to make their way to the university drama club. It's hard to believe we actually wore this junk. This is not junk. This happens to be Delphina's greatest creation. Mm. <laughs> well, good costumes, rotten act. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid you're right. Well, so much for the past. Speaking of which, how does it feel to be back in the center again? It's weird. I keep expecting O'Reilly to come walking out of the communications room. Yeah. What about Holly? Has she found a place to live here? Well, I don't know. She was going over to see Rose today about getting her old room back at Kelly's. Huh. Well, I'll give her a call later. Yeah. But in the meantime, I've got to run. I'm going to over to uh, update my wardrobe myself at Delphina. That's going to be expensive. Well, whatever it costs, it'll be worth it. I intend to upstage Bobby Spencer tonight if it kills me. Am I interrupted? No. Mm. Only in the nicest way. We were just wondering if you found a place to live yet. Oh, I'm just on my way to talk to Rose, actually. I, I stopped by to pick up a few things. Oh, uh, well, let me know if you need any help, okay? Thanks, Tiffany. Yeah. I will. Okay. I'll drop these over at Delphine's. See sure. you all later. Bye, love. Bye. -bye. Uh, look, I'm sorry about yesterday. We couldn't chat, but what with the swearing in, and then I had an interview with Jackie, uh, my schedule got a bit tight. Oh, I understood. Uh, do you have a minute now? Yeah, I've got to go downtown, but if it's important. Yeah, it is. To me. And I think to you. I'm pregnant, Robert. I'm gonna have Luke's baby. Would you mind repeating that? I'm pregnant. I'm gonna have Luke's baby. Are you absolutely positive? The doctor confirmed it yesterday. You're happy? I'm very happy about it. Then I'm happy, too. <laughs> hey, Luke's got a little Spencer running about. That's absolutely fantastic. It's scary, too. Well, um, uh, uh, when's the blessed event? Usually takes about nine months. <laughs> okay. What can I do to help? Just be a friend, Robert. This is my responsibility. I have to find a place to live and a way to support both of us. Look, whatever I have, it's yours. Luke's kid ought to have the best. You call on me for anything. Thanks, Robert. First of all, you can tell me, how do I get a green card? You mean you haven't got one? <laughs> Wait a minute. How are you working at the hospital, then? Well, I didn't know I needed one, and they overlooked it. But now, apparently, immigration is making ways. If I don't get that card, I'm not going to be able to keep my job at the hospital or, or even work anywhere else. Yeah. I know that sort of thing's very important. Uh, we'll work on it pronto. Well, hey, okay, what, what do I do about it? Well, I'm going to... Hey, Luke's kid! <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over that. Well, right, reality. Right, I'm going to call Lee Baldwin. I used him when I applied for citizenship mm -hmm. over here.
Lee Baldwin. Lee, it's uh, Robert Scorpio here. Hey, Commissioner, what can I do for you? Well, it's not me, it's uh, Holly Sutton. She needs a spot of help at the moment. Uh, she's with me now. Um, we'd like to see you as soon as possible. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be on my way to the waterfront very soon. Need your signature on another document regarding the sale of the star. Yeah, we're at the star now, uh, if you can make it. I'll be there within the hour. We'll be waiting. Thanks, Lee. Well, he's coming right over. Do I have time to go over to Kelly's and ask Rose about the room? Yeah, I'll wait for Lee here. Okay, I'll hurry. Holly. Yeah? So, uh, about the baby. Uh, I don't want you to worry. It shows? <laughs> Not at all. No, I mean, does it show that I'm worried? Uh, not that I'm worried. I, I just want everything to be perfect. Look, we're all going to help out. You know, it's funny. I think about all my problems. The green card, not having Luke, being alone. And then I think about the baby. He or she is going to be one special child. Yeah, because of where it came from, look. Um, give yourself some credit. You put in at least 50% of the work. Yeah, but somehow that, that doesn't seem important. I feel like I have a responsibility to Luke and to the baby. I want to give this baby every chance and every opportunity. It's Luke's child. He always made his own opportunities. I wouldn't expect anything less from his offspring. When it's an adult, until then, I have to be a good mother. I can't imagine you being anything less. Well, I mustn't let my problems get in the way. They're only temporary. I have to find a way to earn a living. Uh, you'll keep your job, and we'll sort out this green card mess. What if I can't get a green card? Don't think about it. They'll send me back to England. I said, I? don't think about it. I am not about to let it happen. Come on. Excuse me, just a second. Hi, Holly. How are you? Taking things a day at a time. That's the way. Rose, uh, do you have another room available? Sure. Oh, and I want to thank you for recommending me to that young man from the hospital. He's moving in. Good. I'd like to move back myself. Do you mean it? Because I'd love to have you. Is tomorrow too soon? We have to be off the stop. Move in whenever you want. Thanks. It's your home for as long as you need it. Well, I'm glad that's settled. Well, it takes time, Holly. Huh? Um, after Patty died, I remember I was at loose ends, and it seems to me that the important thing is to keep busy. Yeah, I want to. I need what they call a green card, otherwise I can't keep my job at the hospital. Well, that shouldn't be a problem, should it? I hope not. Robert called Lee Baldwin. We're hoping he can expedite matters. Well, if anybody can, Lee's the one to do it. <laughs> Listen, whenever you want to, just move your stuff right on in. Thanks. I might be back later on today. You'll never know how much I appreciate having this place, Rose. I'll see you later. Okay. Well, I went right to the top. The answer was still the same. I don't know how to tell her. Well, Please, tell me you have good news. Well, Holly, I'll have to tell you the same thing I just told Robert. Normally, there is no problem with a green card. However, with... Uh, the scandal, the legal problems we've been involved in. It isn't just difficult, it's, it's close to impossible. I doubt if the immigration department would consider even giving you a work permit. All right, let's not be negative. I mean, there's got to be a way here. Well, I don't know what it is. What am I gonna do? Oh, Holly. I'm sorry, I just don't know how to advise you. Uh, look, maybe you could see another attorney. I'd give you some names if you like. Forget it, Lee. You can't swing it. Well, I don't know what to do, Robert. There's got to be somebody else you can call. Well, I can try, yes, but I can't guarantee anything. Right. Anything at all you can do. All right, I'll get on it. But please, don't, uh, don't get your hopes up. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Now, look, don't worry. We'll work out something. Would you excuse me, Robert? I, I need to be alone.
Yes, it's Commissioner Scorpio here. Now, I want to talk to whoever's in charge of immigration for this area, and I don't want to be pushed off into some secretary's office. I want the top banana. Now, are you saying that you won't even discuss the possibility of authorizing a green card? Look. Look, I'm not asking for your firstborn. I just want a work permit for this lady. Work permit? Bureaucrats. Well, what do you need a work permit for? I don't. Look, I really don't want to get into this, if you don't mind. Sure. Okay, fine. You don't have to read it, but at least take a look at the picture. It's really a good one. So what's up, Mr. Commissioner? I'm worried about Holly. So what else is new? Look, uh, you don't understand. Sure I do. You act like this every time Holly has a little problem. What is it this time, a hangnail? Does she have a runny nose? Hello. Uh, I've packed some things. I'm going to take them to Kelly. Yeah, I'll come with you. Uh, no, I can manage. I know you can manage, but I'll come with you. Fine, uh, I'll meet you outside. I'll be there. Oh, uh, any news with the permit? Uh, no, but I'm still trying. Luck with what? That's right. Jackie Templeton is asking you a question. You're Jamie. always doing that. Well, if you would answer me once in a while, I wouldn't have to keep repeating myself. All right. No, she doesn't have a work permit. Furthermore, if she doesn't get a work permit, not only can't she work in this country, she probably won't even be allowed to stay here. All I am saying is why you? Why not me? There's so many people that could help her. People that are close to Luke. Uh, I mean, there's Bobby and Ruby. Why does it always have to be you? Why are you the one that is calling around for this card? You're not understanding the situation. What, that she's taking advantage of you? She's not doing that. Then why are you taking all the responsibility? Someone has to. Holly is fully capable of taking care of herself. She is a grown woman. You treat her like she's some kind of fragile doll that might break, so you've got to take care of her. You don't know the half of it. Then tell me. Robert, I am waiting. Ooh, what is it with you? Look, all I can tell you is, as she has a problem, and she needs help, and I intend to do as much as I can to help sort it out. What are you, Robert? Her father, her brother, her lover? What is it? What, what is it with you? I'm her friend, but you wouldn't understand the meaning of that, would you? I think I'm beginning to. I think not. Furthermore, I don't even think you're interested. Oh, keep talking. It's, it's, it's really starting to set in. All right, I'll repeat again. She's my friend. She has a problem. You're determined to solve it for how noble. You can call it what you want. But she needs a green card. And I intend to help her with it. And I'm sorry if that upsets you. No, no. It doesn't bother me that you want to devote all your time to Holly. That's fine. But don't expect me to stand around here and take any more of your abuse. And I don't want to talk about it. But she's important to you. What's important is solving your problem. But is it worth all of this? You're going to keep your job. You're going to stay here in Port Charles. And you're going to have Luke's child. Come on. Where? First, we're going to Kelly's to take the rest of your things. After that, I have some calls to make. I take it right now, you're going to get that green card come hell or high water. Mm -hmm.